original sin, as you know, something Adam and Eve do, and that results in a condemnation of all progeny forever, into eternal damnation. Yeah, all progeny forever. Now that means that Jesus has to not be progeny of Adam and Eve, otherwise he will also be born sinner. And hence the virgin birth is necessary. If you ask people, why is virgin birth such a big deal? Why is such a big deal? It's such a big deal because he, only through virgin birth he is not, he is not the progeny because sex born would make him progeny of Adam and Eve and hence he would be born a sinner. But virgin birth exempts him from being a sinner. So all this is a very important part of their story. And then he uh, does a sacrifice. He suffers phalla, what we would call phalla, for the karma of all the people who are not even born. All they have to do is check a box saying, I believe, and their karma has been absorbed. <laughs> so, uh, uh, not, and then all the people who were born before Jesus do not have that option available because the nature of original sin is so infinite, so huge, that everybody who is eternally damned with no way out. And since there is no reincarnation, one life, and in one life, since they could not solve the problem and, and you know, out of, of this original sin, uh, they have to go to hell. So, according to Christian theology, all the human beings who were born prior to Jesus could not get saved from original sin. And only those born after Jesus have that option, and the only option is if they believe in Jesus, otherwise there is no option.